No one ever does. I'm surrounded by pillocks. My son is mixed up with a violent and dangerous man, and you thought this was a way out without even consulting me. It was George's idea. Sorry. Sorry, it's been going non-stop. I'm sure. Honestly, the environment does nothing for our trade. Cardboard caskets, wicker, NDF. We're almost destitute. You've got some explaining to do. Yeah. I know the lads who run the creme. I've got us booked in for three o'clock. Empty casket, one of them on every pew. You stupid, stupid man. Did she not say who we've invited? Mick Cheney. I don't care if you've invited Mick Cheney, Don Cheney or Lon Cheney. I, this is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Just think about it. He saw Mick two days ago. Yeah, well, it is a quick turnaround, I'll give you that. But we'll put the coffin through the curtain, pick it up on the other side. With no one there? You don't think he'd smell a rat? We'll be there. Todd hates abide with me. Yeah, admittedly, I did take a punt on the music. I thought we'd see him off with the pet shop boys. But you did say, didn't you, that he was, um, you know... What? Gay? Always on my mind. It was Elvis originally, I, I believe. Why didn't you just put an advert in the Gazette? Men like Mick Cheney don't read the Gazette. What, do you think he sat around all day with a nice cup of tea perusing the classifieds? Too busy kneecapping hoodlums. I buried his brother. So I had Mick's number in my phone. And what if he doesn't show? Then I've wasted me time. And money. Ah, no, cos we got a great deal on the printing. Bob Critchlow, Teal Road's industrial estate. I went to school with him and his... All right, enough! Mick. So? It's true. Taken too soon. 35's too young. Have you two taken stupid pills? Might have worked if you hadn't stood there with your gobble and catch catching flies. From the first letter of St Paul to the Corinthians, I will tell you something that has been a mystery, that we are not going to die, but we shall all be changed. This will be instantaneous, in the twinkling of an eye, when the last trumpet sounds. It will sound and the dead will be raised. <laughs> he wasn't kidding, was he? Hymns, readings, you've gone to a lot of trouble, George. Sorry. If you hadn't given our Terry such a nice send-off, I'd be loading you into the back of that right now. So where is he? Where's the man of the hour? Because I'm pretty sure he's not in there. Hello? Todd, is that you? Is there anybody there? Not once for yes and twice for no. I, I don't know where he is, genuinely. Genuinely? from the woman who just faked her own son's funeral. Look, nobody needs to get hurt. She's right, nobody does need to get hurt. I've got money I can pay you. If you just give me your number and I'll contact you. Can we swap numbers? Can we? How do I get in touch? Oh, I'll be in touch. Don't worry about that. Are you all right, Ali? Do I look all right? And not a word about Todd or this stupid fake funeral to anyone. Do I make myself clear? <laughs> <laughs>